Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Last time, we descended to the ground, and we were the first humans since Zelda. But if you don't count her, we were the first humans in recent history to have descended to the ground. So long as no one accidentally fell off Skylaw, who one of those knights who are really good at timing and rescuing you didn't rescue you, that person. But that's aside from the point. We descended to the ground, got an ominous vision of a monster. We met an old lady in a temple who told us to not follow Zelda, but it is our destiny to follow her anyway, so we're going to follow her anyways. And we met Gorko the Goron, who's been investigating the ancient people of the sky. This episode, the hunt continues. Hunt. The chase? The I don't know what to call it. Uh, I don't know if I covered this last episode, because if you look at the uh, upload date, there is quite a difference between this episode and the previous episode. So I don't know exactly where I left off, if I went over everything. Uh, but if you go up this way, uh, and just head through here. Wait for it. You arrive back in the sealed grounds, and you can yeah. remove- you can move this log as a- So now you have a quick way back up. So if you don't want to go through the temple, if you just want to ignore the old lady, you can just go through here. It's really- it's a nice shortcut. And I don't know if I brought this up last time again, because again, that feels like a two month difference. But, did I ever talk about the- this guy's name, Gorko? How Ko is ja usually Japanese for child? And it's used in names, commonly names of women. But, I don't think this is a female Goron. In fact, do Gorons even have genders? Uh, I mean, they could be like the gems in Steven Universe, where they're technically genderless, but they all present as one gender anyways, in this case male, or in the case of the gems, female. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense when you think about it that way. Uh, no, I, we, went, we went over this last episode. So now, we're just going to continue to follow Zelda. Use our magic sword powers. And, well, continue forward. Just like a few seconds ago, we have a log here we can roll. And we needed the jingle that we saw that, because that was such a tough puzzle. Like, ah, that was a real doozy. I, I didn't know what to do the first time I played. I got stopped there. I stopped playing for a week because of it. In fact, that's why I haven't recorded for two months. Because I got stuck at that puzzle because I didn't remember what to do. Jokes aside, we have entered Barren Woods. Thank you. Well, I mean, at least she gives you the name of the place. Looking on the bright side. I, I, I try not to play about Fee too much or not worry about what she says too much. I know she bothers a lot of people. The plentiful water in this region clearly sustains a large diversity of flora, including this massive tree. I, I'm going to presume you're referring to the tree in the background because those trees in general are kind of big. It's logical that lush plant... I didn't get a chance to read that because I was ranting. Okay. You know, when they say this big tree, they should zoom in on that giant tree that you can see on the map. Because it's obvious she's referring to that specific tree. But, oh well. Looking at the probabilities, it is, it is extremely likely that Zelda is somewhere in the area. I recommend you continue your use of Thousand Ability to search for her. But we won't need to, because I already know where she is, because I beat this game before. Of course, it won't stop people until you use it, so we'll use it. Uh, remember to check every bird statue just once, so you can, even if you're not going to save or go to the sky, it'll mark it on your map. So if you don't, say if you don't check that statue, you get to a later statue, go back up to the sky. Really? As you can see, it's sloped here, so you can't just run up, so you have to conquer the road. Well, as I was saying, you have to check the bird statues because, and I've made this mistake before, if you try to descend back down, and you, you cannot descend to a bird statue you have never checked. So you're probably wondering what this light is, this glowing part of the tree. Well, if you start cutting left and right, you will get a rupee. And that's true for any tree that has this. Sometimes they're high, sometimes they're low. Sometimes you can't just go through this, you kind of have to like chop up or down until it just kind of fades out in the distance. And then you can go through. Let, when we go forward... We have two... Oh, I think these are Bokoblins. 
just gotta jump to the right. Ooh, Ruby. Ruby. Alright, we got it. Alright, and that does that. And I guess I could go ahead and point out right now, if I have any difference in my inventory whatsoever, it's because I had a recording failure, and I had to go back to an older save file, so it's not that big of a deal in the beginning of the game, but if there's anything different, such as me not picking up the collectible, that's why. Huh? It's gone quiet. Kweeku! Now there's a green one. I didn't even know they came in green. Are you implying Link comes in more than green? I mean, I guess he comes in red, blue, and purple, but that's only in two games. Don't hurt me, Kuweep. Uh. Wow, that thing is fast, especially if it got up that slope. Holy crap. Master, I picked up a high interest thing, spike in thousand greens from the creature you just encountered. <laughs> Wait, so you're telling me there's a chance that is Zelda? Is that what you're telling me, Feet? Okay, so as we, as Fee was just going on, that is a creature known as a Kikui. And, but there's still a chance it's Zelda, so we can't throw that just out. Or we can't throw that out just yet. I believe you can run up that. Yeah, you can't go this way. So, yeah, you have to run up it. Never mind. So, I guess it is a dude. Then again, I doubt those things have the same physical capabilities as Link, but hey, anything's possible, I guess. I mean, that thing could also be Zelda. It's 5% chance, so you gotta believe in that 5%. With that, it'll run, and we see another bird stack. Is there a log right there? There is a log. Oh, huh, I never do that. I just never really go back up that way. Alright, so there's another bird statue here, so you want to go ahead and check it. Continue forward. He's going to alert us again. Master Link, should you have any questions? Basically, this is saying that she can give us advice or hands, much like how Navi could in Ocarina of Time, or Tattle, or whatever. So, we notice that if we go into Dowsing, it's right here, and yes, Zelda. So I guess that is Zelda. We believed in that 5%. So if you go around, it's just simply going to keep running around. You can try all you want, you're not. Wait, you can catch up to it? Oh, I didn't know that. Come here. Come here. But if you, yeah, if you cut the mushroom, it'll freak it out. And I don't know what gender pronouns refer to Kikwis with. I'm going to presume they're like the Gorons. I mean, I guess it's just dwarf since they don't really have genders either. And get a rupee. Yes, while we're just running around searching for our Kikui friend, uh, I just want to go ahead and talk about like my thoughts on this area in general. Oh, but really quick, uh, there is a log over here that you can just uh, push. And with that, that opens up a shortcut back to the beginning of the woods. And there's also this, an amber relic. You may think you're really special for finding these, but get ready because they're everywhere. So I'd, re re I'd re recommend memorizing the location of these as it will be important for something just a teeny bit later. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I was lying. Only a little. So, go ahead and get rid of these guys. But yeah, I just want to say, I, I don't really care for forest areas in general in games. They're, but they're not my least favorite type of area. I like Farron Woods. It's one of my favorite Zelda forest areas. Cut the mushroom again, it'll run away again. But, yeah, just going on, I do like Farron Woods. I know a lot of people complain about this game being super linear, but I feel like I get a sense of exploration, especially coming up, which we'll get to in a second. I, I generally like all the areas in this game. So we see the little speech bubble to talk to it now. It spotted me again! Whee! I'm sorry. I probably won't do that again. Huh? You don't want to eat me? And come to think of it, why did you fight off all those red monsters? I'm Machi. I'm a Kikui. You seem okay, even though you're scary. Oh, gee, thanks. Thanks for helping me. 
That's weird. A little while ago, I ran into another funny animal like you, but that one was a girl. I'm surprised he's never seen a human before, or Kylie, I guess in this case, that he knows that he, she, it, knows how to discern gender. Jeez, I'm just talking about gender a lot in this video. We'll just say Zelda. What's a Zelda? I don't know who this girl was, but she was in a bunch of trouble when I saw her. A pack of those mean red guys were after her, but she escaped with the Kikui Elf. Wow, B, you're even scarier than Link. Master, we have obtained new information on Zelda's current status. This information indicates that she was assailed by monsters, but somehow evaded capture. However, I infer that she is still in significant danger. So now we know where Machi is on the map, and that uh, this that this Kikui has produced false positive because Zelda was near this Kikui. So Zelda's aura rubbed off. At there is an 85% chance that the Kikui Elder will also generate a dowsing reaction for the same reason. So yeah. You really spooked me. You keep some very strange company, friend. Well, I can't argue with that one. It sounded like you're set on finding this friend in the elder. If you're heading that way anyway, would you mind telling our elder that I'm safe? Cheer up, I bet your friend is safe with our elder. Nah, it's not gonna be that easy. You clearly never played a Zelda game before. So, B is now somehow able to completely signal out the aura that of Zelda that, that rubbed off on Machi, and now we have another location to go for. So why don't we continue that way? And right now, just as I was saying earlier, I felt like you do get a lot of exploration in this area. This first part of Farron Wood is pretty linear, but after that it gets fun. Oh yeah, you can also uh, pick up these boulders and then drop, throw them, and crush a plant because why not? No reason to do that. Just fun. You, Destroy this, you can get a rupee. Uh oh this. These, if you if you touch them or swipe them, uh they will explode. However, if you well if you touch them they'll be on you. If you roll by running and shaking the numchuck you can get them off. You can get here this early? Wow. Okay, so you can go out of the way early if you want. We have a new enemy, it kinda looks like a Murkrow. But that's aside from the point, it'll just swoop down and attack you. But we don't need to go this way just yet. We're gonna stay on the beaten path now. Beaten path? I don't mind this. Uh, this is a new type of enemy. If you play Wind Waker, I'm pretty. Er, I guess those are Octo Lock. I don't know the official name for them. But. I'll, I'll put an annotation on the screen, but the official name is. But essentially, you just time shield back and send their uh, projectiles back at them. This can be tough if you're first playing this game and you don't really know how to time shield bashes. But generally, there's not that much lag between input. You just shake the nunchuck or jut it forward. I generally jut it forward because I like think that it's actually jutting my shield. But yeah, so over here we have another amber relic. Got two now. <coughs> Sorry. And if we come over here, we see a log. Another one. And what have we done with every log so far? We push them. And you can see there's another amber relic. And we've already gotten that bird statue, so we don't need to worry about it. I wish they did mark where bird statues, like what bird statues have already been to. Come up this way. There's some birds. There's another of these enemies. I don't know what to call them. I, I guess you can call them Forest Octoroks or something. Uh, hold on. If you get yes, if you do get too close to them, oh, that was I didn't think it was gonna make that. But if you do get too close to them, they will just hide and you can't cut their bush. And I believe this. No, this is a. I I don't know why. Fee. Oh, I guess we will never know why he wanted what did this say to us. Whoops. So, in our continue, continuous search for the Kikui Elder, we're now going to meet our worst enemy again, the rope. But this time, we shall make it. And now, we're at a dead end. We don't know where to go. There's this here. We're still looking for the Kikui Elder. I doubt he could fit in here. And maybe he's the size of Machi. 
So the question is, where could the Kikui Elder be? He's apparently really good at hiding. <laughs> I am Bucha, the Kikui Elder. I saw the way you spotted me through my ingenious camouflage. You are clearly a master woodsman. Zelda? Ah, the girl creature with the blonde hair. She looked like one of your kind. Yes, she was with me. But now is not the time for such talk. The woods are full of monsters. I am worried about my missing tribe. The shock and worry has made my memories of the girl quite hazy. What? You said you met some of my people? Just notice his arms are like right where his eyes are, or like almost in line with them, just a little bit below. Wow, I never really noticed that before. So Machi is safe, eh? But the monsters, they are still lurking in the forest. I don't dare leave this spot. Three Kikwis are still unaccounted for. Could I ask you to search for them and make sure they are saved? I am worried sick for my fellow Kikwis. If you might be able to remember more about where the girl you seek went off to. And with that, well, uh, okay, I cannot speak. I have been like twisting my words. Like, last month. So essentially, we're going to get Kikwis as a thousand option, and we will use these to doubt for the three missing keys. We don't need to because I can explain it. And yes, and she will go ahead and disable so you won't run into the same way twice. So if you open your map, you can see Machi's here, uh, and Bucha is here. And with that, we can also just search for other Kikwis. And we can see there's one right over there. I wonder if this tunnel leads to it. Well, I guess we'll figure out next time on Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. The search continues. But not for Zelda, no. We're searching for forest creatures. Till next time.